Tonight's episode's a little bit more controversial, but yet it's still a weird topic that we need to dig into. So I'm your host, and this is Questioning the Weird. Now, have you ever been given a gift from somebody to find out that person that gave it to you isn't that nice? They're so bad that you even cut ties with them, but the gift is just too nice that you can't part ways with? Now let's say that gift is a 2,000 year old Roman column, and the person that gave it to you was no other than Mussolini himself from fascist Italy. And that was the problem that the city of Chicago found itself in. It was called the Balbo Monument. It was a gift to the city of Chicago for the Century of Progress World's Fair in 1933. Yet you may not know that name that well, but Balbo was a fascist politician and also the minister of the Air Force for fascist Italy back in the 30s. And he wasn't really the nicest guy around. He even used chemical warfare to get what he wanted. This column was to mark the, uh, the transatlantic flight from Italy to the new land. Once the column was in Chicago, it was placed in front of the Italian exhibit in Burham Park during the World's Fair. Now the Roman column itself was built between 117 and 38 BC by the Romans. Standing around 13 feet tall, it was used in a port city. Made out of Bercitia, it gives it a very interesting green look to it. Yet, it's the base itself that gives so much controversy and what is inscribed on it. And what it says is, this column, 20 centuries old, erect on the beach of Ossetia, port of imperial road, to safeguard the fortunes and victories of the Roman Trimius. Fascist Italy, by command of Biento Mussolini, presents to Chicago a symbol and memorial of the Atlantic squadron led by Biato that, with Rome daring, flew across the ocean in the 11th year of this fascist era. So if you didn't know, fascists aren't the good people, and Biento and Mussolini aren't decent people at all. After World War II, many have sought out to change the name of Biato Monument to something else. In 2017, there was a huge movement and protest to change the monument's name, yet as of today, it still stands as Biato Monument. Most people in the neighborhood don't even know what they're looking at as they pass this in the park. A 2,000 year old Roman column that sits on the edge of the lake in Chicago is truly weird. So do you think they should change the name of the monument? Go ahead and comment below letting me know what you think. I think yes. But anyway, this is Questioning the Weird. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe and follow us every Friday for a new video. Thank you. Made out of bre made out of brachita, made out of brachita, brachita.